Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome. Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome to Airport Sim. A brand new game that just came out, I think, yesterday or today, one of the days. Um, it is Airport Sim, a brand new simulator that is revolved around an airport, not flying planes. Let me just be real with you here. We're not flying planes or anything like that. We're working at the airport and and that's that's the whole idea here so airport sim is an advanced airport ground handling simulator with true to life visuals and operations licensed planes and vehicles real airports in live weather conditions enjoy the many tasks alone or with friends making the experience unforgettable so i guess this is something um that you would say you could play with friends which I did not know there was going to be a multiplayer to this game. This is the first time I'm actually reading that. So that's pretty incredible. Um, shout out to the developers first and foremost for sending me a key over to check out Airport Sim. So I'm excited to see what this is all about. This is developed by MS Games and MK Studios and uh, published by Iceberg Interactive. So yeah, shout out to them. Thank you for sending over a key. This game is retailed for $34.99 USD. So it is a bit, a bit, uh, a bit on the... You know it's a, it's a bit on the pricey side but how will will it be how well will it be and how um you know what, what what's it, what's this all about how in depth does it really go you can pick this up on a bundle too if you want to get this and i believe um alaskan truck simulator i believe yeah so yeah there, that's really pretty much it that i have for you um if you really like what you see in today's video you can go add it to your wish list and all that and make sure to hit the like button and all that good stuff but yeah welcome everybody hello hello hope everyone's doing good and having a wonderful <gasps> today friday today's friday hooray happy friday everybody welcome yes i know i know right oh oh gosh it's friday <laughs> hello yes oh my gosh uh yeah gaming hello hello yeah gaming anna maria Welcome in. Hello, Spork. Hello, Nadine. Hello, hello. Susie T. Hello, Maya J. Mary Cooper Queen. Hello, hello. Welcome in, Ambers. Jonathan. Hello, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Tierra, how you doing? Welcome in as well. Waffle, hello, hello. Welcome in. And bedtime with the 10 months. Wow, almost one whole year for bedtime there. Thank you very much for bedtime. That was very kind of you. Thank you very much. Hope you are well. Jeanette, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome in. Good to see you. Yes, yes, yes. And Lady Casca. How you doing, Lady Casca? Hope you are well. Game Station. Hope you're well, too. Yorkie. How you doing, Yorkie? Good time. Long time no see. How are you? Welcome in. Um, Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, anybody else that I'm missing? Thi Thi Tiana. Tiana. Is that how you say your name? Tiana. How are you? Welcome. Welcome. Maggie. Hello, Maggie. Malachi with a four months. Thank you, Malachi. Big ups to you. Appreciate the four months. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate it. From what I've seen so far, this game is hard to manage by yourself. Is that right? So if that's the case, it would probably be best to like run a multiplayer, huh? Is that what the game might suggest? I guess you could say. Eduardo, how you doing? Eduardo, how's it going? Welcome in. Hello, hello. Ashley, hello, Ashley. Welcome in. Self-aware potato. Hello. Time alive. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Nell, hello, Nell. And Dennis, welcome in. Yes, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hope you all are having a good Friday. And everybody lurking, smirking, and possibly working on today's Friday. Hope you all are having a good one, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, we will have two streams today. This stream today, and then uh, towards this afternoon, uh, we will be playing our members live stream, and we will be doing our brand new uh, first ever hit on Jackbox 10. So hopefully, members, if you are available later on, hopefully you'll be able to join us in our Jackbox uh, live stream here. Hey, Shantae. Hello. Did I say hello to Maris? Welcome, Maris. How are you? Now, this game is probably very, very complicated in a sense, right? So, there's tutorials or there's a new game to this. I don't know what I should do. Um, I was kind of hoping that the game would be like, okay, you start with a scenario and then they teach you the basics through like one scenario and then you go to a next. I have a feeling that if you take on a scenario, you might not get your hand held. I, I'm not entirely sure. So tutorial is probably the best way to go and there is so many tutorials <laughs> so i guess we're going to be maybe playing the tutorials for about an hour or so my guess i don't know hello amanda hello morticia how are you roxanne welcome in yes 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 hello linda how are you so i guess we'll look into the uh the tablet hello ruth we'll look into this and see what the game has to say so this game is going to be a complicated one and for 
Are those dogs barking? Those are just do dogs barking. For the ones that don't know, I am not a aircraft specialist. I, I don't know anything about airplanes and I don't know anything about airlines. So I'm hoping this game teaches me about that. And I hope the dog also teaches me about politeness. Press play. Hey, listen, Lou, how are you? Welcome to the beautiful Vagar Airport, situated on the Faroe Islands. In this tutorial, you'll learn everything you need to know about the tablet. The tablet is an important part of the gameplay, as it's your primary source of information. It features everything you need to know to be able to perform tasks on the ground. Uh-oh. Okay. I think that's the, uh... I think that's the mailman. That is the mailman. I hear the truck. Marina, hello, Marina. All right, so let's open up the tablet, shall we? Oh, baby. So you kind of kind of see like the whole thing here. Hang on a sec. Hang on, hang on. Let me just make sure everything's all right. Hang on, hang on. All right, everything's fine. Hello, welcome. How are you, Ben? Yes, yes, yes. So, hello, Summer Sunshine, also. We have a tablet showing us a lot of different things. Um, landing at 123, parking at stand number four, secure area around aircraft at stand number four, place cones, place chocks, insert bypass pin, and then connect stairs to an airplane. Mm, very well, okay, so that's, I guess, what we're doing right now. All right, let's, uh, oh my goodness gracious, this is us, this is us. Now, I don't know if we need to actually physically go get the cones and stuff, yeah, I guess we do. That's pretty cool, yeah? There we go. And then we just kind of place them? If so, that's actually really neat. Yeah? Do you actually have to... Does it snap or does it just go on there? It just goes on there, dude. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. All right, all right, all right. The sound sounds weird-ish. All right, there we go. So we have to do this every time, I guess, a plane does come, right? I guess, or when a plane does... Well, I don't know. They don't really do this in real life, do they? I don't think they really like put cones out and stuff when a game when a <laughs> when a plane parks, but who knows? Yeah, this would actually be really cool now thinking about it if you had like multiplayer. You're like, alright, let's get a plane in, shall we? Let's get it going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. We'll just do everything here. Perfect. Oh, the sound. Okay, I hear like another plane. I hear another plane. Maybe it's just the ambience. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, do I need another one? Yeah, I do need another one. Another one in the back. And another one in the back over there. We shall be good. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, so with the zero knowledge of not, you know, anything about aircrafts or airplanes or airports and all that, what I'm hoping in today is that the game at least has a good, nice, a nice little teaching moment so that we can learn more about, you know, what it takes to actually... Uh, bring in planes and not only that but take care of people's luggage believe it or not can i pick up multiple i can oh very good uh yeah so like taking care of people's luggage should be something uh seeing where your luggage goes when you finally land you know i feel like i'm doing something dangerous here there we go perfect All right that plane should be good to go yeah all right then let's bring up our tablet again so we need to insert the bypass pin. Okay, what the frick is a bypass pin? I'm gonna pretend like I know what that is. That's something over here. What is a bypass pin? Um, is that part of like the corks? The screws? <laughs> the corks and the screws. <laughs> All right, very well. I don't know what a bypass pin is. Can I actually look at that? Oh yeah, you can. No? Insert. Oh, you can tap. Oh, you can um, you can pin it. Oh, very good. Is it behind the front wheel? That's where the bypass pin is. Whoa. Oh my gosh. There we go. We got the bypass pin. Very good. Okay, so now that we got that, we need to connect the stair cars to the airplane. All right. Here's the stair cars. Oh, this is. Look at this thing. How cute. All right, here we go. I'm assuming we just pull right up to that. No, wait. Is it on the left side or right side? I don't know. Okay, we turned on the thing thing, doohickey. 
All right, we will now go forward. I don't know if there's like a third person to see the stairs when they come up. Is this the side we go on or is it this side? It's uh, usually it's this side, right? I guess it really doesn't matter. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> oh God. Back this thing up. <laughs> Hang on. It's like, let me get out and get back in. I want to see the controls again. Um, F11. Okay. F11. Um, lift upstairs, hide support, set up supports. Okay. Let's see here. Bring that back up. Perfect. Lower stairs. I'm assuming there might be. Oh, wait, it said it, it said it right there. Hang on. Change first person view. Uh, change to the first person view to open the tablet. Wait, what? Change to the first person view to open the tablet. Okay, well, how do you change to the uh, other view? Hang on a sec. Let me see. Third person. Is there, um, hang on a sec. Settings. Let's go see real quick. Got to see. Control. Where is our uh, third person? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, well, H is horn. Well, that's good. Wipers. There's wipers in this. That's pretty cool. Uh, tow bar, jetway, interaction, cargo, vehicle controls. There we go. Blinker switch camera. V. Got it. Okay. Oh, baby. All right. Did we go up already? Oh, we did go up. Oh, very good. Again, I'm just assuming that this is the door they're going to open. So let's see. Make sure we don't crash into the freaking plane. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And I just realized the... Uh, hang on. Let, let me also change this so I can, uh, you know... Uh, metrics. Hit me with Imperial. Perfect. Thank you. Fly. Also perfect. Okay. Now, we need to confirm it. Oh, left, look at that. You'll discover and find all data about incoming and outgoing flights you're due to handle. I think I did it. Did I do it? In the map tab, as the name suggests, there's a map of the airport displaying your current position and <laughs> all available vehicles and aircraft to be used. I think I did it. And in the final tab named weather, find all the options available to manipulate weather conditions at your present location. Okay. We shall discuss each of these tabs in detail. Okay. The screen is divided into two columns. So much information. The left hand side acts as a timetable for all flights that are scheduled to take place at the airport on the present day. Okay. But divided into arrivals and departures. At the top, there's a button that filters the flights and shows only the ones you're assigned to handle on the day. Hey, Michaela, how are you? Hello, Shay. Hello, Carol. Hello, Am or Ambers. I think I already said to you. But hello, Nicole. Each flight is there will be an exam at the end. Where all the information you'll need is displayed. Shit. Arrival time, flight number, arrival or departure location, and stand number are located on the left. Right. The right hand side displays a list of tasks you'll have to complete when handling the aircraft. To view the tasks are arranged in the order in which they should be completed. What? When you complete an action, it will be crossed off, and those which are yet to be performed have empty markers on the left side of each task title. Okay. Now we'll head to the map tab. Okay. Could have just said that. At the beginning. Or maybe we won't. Uh. Map tab. Uh. Uh-oh. Um. <clears throat> uh. Did I break it? <laughs> did I break the game? I, I, I. I, uh, I cannot rotate. Hang on. Maybe that. No. Did I break the game? Is it broken already? Very well. Um, okay. 
can't go into the map now can't bring up the tablet tablet switch is locked um very well uh, let's go to the next tutorial shall we follow me all right let's do that i i mean hopefully i i understand was it the camera view all right hey soul empress how are you welcome i think i understand the tablet there's a checklist there's weather there's stuff coming there's things you need to do take care of it very well holy crap now you'll learn about one of the most essential vehicles contributing to the everyday function of an airport oh my god the follow me vehicle its general purpose is to guide aircraft to designated parking gates <laughs> or specific areas of the airport safely okay it's used when arriving pilots are unfamiliar with the airport or when the aircraft requires special support during taxiing. We will be using the black and yellow checkered follow me vehicle parked at the terminal for this task. Approach and enter the vehicle. I don't think I've ever seen like a follow vehicle and like, I guess you wouldn't see if you're a passenger. will be arriving soon and I have received information that the crew has requested follow me support. Okay. Start the vehicle and activate its warning lights. Okay. Turn on the vehicle. Turn on the vehicle. Okay. Now, Omi. Open the tablet and switch to the map tab. I'm scared You'll to open the tablet. To meet the aircraft at the designated taxiway intersection. Okay. Okay, I cannot open up the tablet. Um, do I need to be in first person to open up the tablet? Hang on. Okay, there Remember we go. Remember that every aircraft moving on the apron has priority on taxiways and intersections. All right. Drive on the designated roads on the apron near the terminal. Okay. Lead aircraft to stand number 10. All right. If you did not know, I am now in control of having an airplane follow me on a runway. What could possibly go wrong? Absolutely nothing, right? Is that the aircraft over there? Oh, baby, it is. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Hello, can't see me. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Uh, should we pull into third person to kind of see what we got going on here? Holy crap, this thing... This thing, uh... Runs, or not runs, but like this thing drives like a, uh... Like a... Like, I feel like I'm on ice here. Is this plane stopped and just waiting for me? I, I assume. I don't think he's coming right at me, right? I think he's stopped and waiting. But this plane is a plane that landed and just needs help getting back to the, uh, you know, back to the thing thing, right? Yeah. We'll see here. I do have to say, I've always thought about maybe wanting to, like, I think, well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Disregard what I was going to say. All right, here we go. You literally right. parked on now the runway? I will explain step by step what you need to do. All right, here we go. Position yourself in front of the plane so that the back of your vehicle is facing the aircraft's nose. All right. Now, you need to activate the follow me sign on the roof of your vehicle so that the pilot knows to follow you. <laughs> follow the instructions displayed on screen. Okay. All right. K to activate the follow me sign. Okay. Great. Now follow the map's path directions to the parking area assigned to this aircraft. Come on, buddy. Maintain a speed of about 30 kilometers an hour. Stay within sight of the pilots and do not stray too far from the aircraft. The distance between you and the aircraft should never be less than 100 meters or more than 250 meters. Okay. If you need the aircraft to stop suddenly, press the displayed button, which activates the stop sign on your vehicle's display. Wait, wait, wait. I thought it said I couldn't be... It says I'm too far away. I thought it couldn't be like... Too far as in like 250 meters. Not 150 meters. I don't know what 30 kilometers is in miles per hour, so... You got me there. You got me there. Sorry. Are you stopped? Are you coming? What are you doing? Okay, all right. You know what? I'll continue. You're, you're good to go. Nobody's landing. You can cross. You can cross. Let's go. 
Come on, buddy. Let's go. I need to hold your hand. Ain't nobody here. Let's go. How far away am I from you? I have no idea. But he's taking his sweet time now, isn't he? Come on, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. You're, you're doing just fine. I can't tell if he's moving or not. <laughs> I can't tell. Are you moving? Hey. I ain't got all day, man. I got other planes I got to deal with. Are you coming? Or are you going? I can't tell, dude. Do I have to go get him? Do I have to, like, re-go get him? Ah, freaking... All right. Turn off follow me for a sec. All right. Let's go see what this... He's too far? How are we... Ah, already failing at this, aren't we? All right. Look here. The passengers on the plane are getting ticked off. And it's not my fault. It's your fault. All you have to do is follow the big yellow and black truck. That's all you have to do. You have one job today. Follow me. That's it. Other than, you know, flying wherever you flew from. <laughs> but, all right. You see that? That says, follow me. Come get me. I'm not moving like a snail, dude. You got you to hit the accelerator. You got to put those engines to, to go here. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. There you go. Hey, just so you're aware, I have to look forward because I have to drive. So I don't want to babysit you back there. You understand me? All right, so let's go. You're clear. To, yep, you're clear to cross. You're clear to cross. You're just fine. Yep. There you go. Could you imagine if another plane was landing? Oh my god. This would be terrible. <sighs> All you have to do <clears throat> is follow me. You don't have to go to college to be a pilot. You don't. Come on now. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I believe he said... The guy said, you can't be um, under 100 meters and you can't be over 250 meters, right? You are too far from the plane. No, no, no. I'm 168 meters. I should be fine, right? I'm pretty sure he said 250 meters, but I don't know. Maybe I, I maybe that's what he didn't say. But I thought he said 250. It looks like it caps out at 150. Come on now. It's like gas and go. Like gas and go. Gas and go. Gas and go. Gas and go. I could put this on cruise control too, but here we are. It's 150? I thought he said 250. Someone needs to rewind. I'm pretty sure I saw 250. I'm not losing my mind. I know what I saw. I know what I saw. Pilots have charts to park, but follow my vehicle help when airports are really busy, confusing, or to keep airport things running smooth. You're doing a good job. I don't feel like it. I'm doing a terrible job. And then I'm going to have to chalk this son of a gun. He definitely said 250. Somebody see? Somebody saw it too. See? He definitely said 250. Was no typo. I think he even said it with his mouth. 250. See? There you go. <sighs> Can you not make a turn? There you go. <laughs> Come on. Gas, brake, dip, dip. Gas, brake, dip, dip. Gas, brake, dip, dip. Gas, brake, dip, dip. Don't worry. We'll get there eventually. I mean, at this point, you should know where you're going to. I shouldn't have to, like, guide you to... You know, I shouldn't have to guide you to your spot here. You're a pilot. You should know where the hell you're going, at least for a little bit. I mean, I get it, you know, out there in the middle of, you know, not... Hey, you know what? I'm not even going to argue it. Just continue. There's no, no, no point of debate. No point of debate. No point of debate. You know what one job I would not want? 
air traffic control. That sounds like a stressful job. I would not want air traffic control. Are you coming still? I can't tell if I'm like out of reach or if, if, if am I still in reach? Okay, come on. You're doing great. You're doing so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're doing a killer job. I don't even know the, can I have your name? Your badge number? Do they have badges? What do pilots have? Do they have license? Do they have badge numbers? Do they have... What What's the certification that that pilots have? Do they have a... a like... <laughs> no more than 250 meters. I had to rewind to check. See? Okay, so he did say 250 meters. Okay, I'm not losing it. That's right. Thank you, Yazzie. Ah. <sighs> I will probably think like I think I would do I think I would do I think I would do uh if I worked at an airport I think I would want to do um Oh god the name escapes me. I would not want to do the baggage. Yeah. I I, I would not want to do the baggage. That seems like a terrible job. I don't know people that are baggage people like I know like people have like heavy luggages and stuff like that but then like you just throw other people's stuff like I mean you get damaged suitcases right I've had my suitcases damaged you know I've never really had anything broken inside of my suitcase though but I've definitely had my suitcases broken before holy hell did we finally get here after all this time it only took how long Thanks to your guidance. Drive to the end and park on the service road in the designated area. I have a good friend that just retired from air traffic control. They said it it's not as stressful as you would think because there's so much training. I, I wonder if that depends on also like um uh where you live or like what city you, you know what what airport um you're you're controlling and things like that. Like where I'm at to be constantly conscious of the traffic of other aircraft on the airport apron and triple check which stand you need to bring the aircraft to. See you later. Oh. Uh, the airport that's closest to me, um, I think they have like two or three, um, what are they called? The, the people that check your, uh, check your, check you as you come in through. The, um, the officers, the, uh, oh God, it's escaping my name. I think we only employ like two or three of them. TSA, yeah, TSA, not immigration. We don't have immigration where I live. TSA, um, yeah, I, 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 there's like two or three TSA people that work at our airport and that's it <laughs> because the airport's only open like X amount of hours. So like maybe depending, right? All right, so follow me, F, Marshall, bring it. Oh god, that was that was that was painful, wasn't it? I think I would I I I would want to be a TSA agent. I I I'd do it. In this tutorial, you will learn how to work Even though that's a stressful job too. Some of the gates are equipped with an automatic visual docking guidance system or AVDGS, which just like a marshaller, except digital, also guides an aircraft correctly into parking gates. The remaining stands that do not have this system are handled by a member of ground crew to marshal aircraft in. The goal is for the marshaller to assist the pilot in accurately maneuvering the aircraft this is a disaster. the parking tee. The cockpit uh -oh, he's moving. sit above the main aircraft and don't have clear visibility to provide an exact idea of its location so it's crucial this process is accurately managed from oh the God. outside to result in the most correct parking position allowing equipment such as jetways to properly and safely connect to the aircraft as you can see the correct points or 
This is so bad. Are marked on the central line where the aircraft is supposed to park. Each aircraft should stop with its front wheel on the line. I'm gonna be bad. There are special cases where the lines are painted and marked differently than usual. Pilots must make an almost 90 degree turn so that the ground markings are visible correctly when they approach the stand head on. And the lines are marked by perpendicular lines or lines that mark the end or beginning of a turn. Each gate is marked by a white or red line. No objects or vehicles should be present within their range unless the gate is specifically not in use. I, the, too much information. As you can see, at the first stand, there are cones lying there. Your task is to clear the stand and move them to a safe place. Okay. We have a designated area where you must carry the cones to. Okay. We gotta, we gotta clear the area for the plane to come, and then I have to line up this son of a gun, which, good luck. Oh, I guess I have to put it right there. There you go. Hello, Chippy. A wild Chippy has appeared. That's right. Hello, how are you? Am I thinking about playing City Skylines 2? I've been thinking about it. Stand. Take up position by the stand following the information displayed on the screen. Okay. I've been thinking about it, but I don't know if I'll have enough time to do it when it first released. Maybe a, maybe a couple weeks after or a few weeks after it releases. I will. The oh my god. Positioned itself at the base of the stand. Oh shit. Guide it to the second T, which is highlighted. Whoa, 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 whoa. Left, left. No, Remember other way, other way, other way, other way, other way. Oh shit. Front wheel it. must be on the line. And the aircraft itself should be as parallel to it as possible. Follow the controls displayed on screen to guide the aircraft. Okay, 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 okay. Can we slow down? Can we slow down? Slow, 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 slow. F, 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 slow. Ah, park! Oh, shoot. Great. You have just learned how to marshal an aircraft onto a stand safely and accurately. See you next time. <laughs> That's accurately? Thank you. I did it! Hooray! <laughs> that didn't look accurate to me. Um, chocks and cones. I think we know how this does, but my gosh. Oh, frick. Oh my gosh. Accurate for a given value of accurate. That was, um, that was, I feel bad for you. Here's accurate and you did a great job and good luck next time. In this tutorial, you will learn how to secure an aircraft okay. in place at a gate following standard safety procedures. I just need the chocks. You will do this with the use of chocks to be placed under all the aircraft's wheels and cones be placed at critical areas around the aircraft where we do not want curious passengers or unauthorized personnel approaching <laughs> did you see As how you i parked see, that bad boy plane is approaching the gate oh collect Hello. a full set of wheel chocks at the indicated area okay the aircraft has arrived Stop. at the gate and its engines Wait. and all beacon lights are switched off how did he know how to you do this safely approach the aircraft's front set of wheels Wait, I... place a set of chocks under the wheels. To do this, approach and point at the front wheels and press the displayed button to place a set of chocks. Wait, he didn't get marshaled in. How right. did he do that? I think you've got the hang of it. Repeat the same process for the rear left and right wheel sets. Did he take my... Did so... huh? We... Now what? head over to the indicator. This thing's on. I don't know if I should put a cone in front of the engine if it's on. Oh my button. god. Click the displayed button to rotate them upwards and use the displayed button to position them. I ignore the whole Close choke. The object, hold down the displayed button. I don't know what he just said about any of that. I'm more confused just about like no marshal. Place the cones in their indicated areas. There you go. The order in which you do this doesn't matter. What was that? He didn't need a marshal. Why did the other guy need a marshal? What the frick, man? There we go. Wait. He has one engine on, the other off? 
I don't know. Does it seem safe? I guess they do technically have them on sometimes, right? They just tell you, they put like, they don't put cones up in real life. At least the planes I've gone off to on the tarmac, any plane that I've gone, got off on the tarmac to, they put like a giant, like they go from here and they put like a giant, like caution tape all the way around. And then we would get off at the back of the plane and then we would walk down and then go into the, into the terminal. But they wouldn't put cones down. They would put like giant caution tape up around, but oh wait. Oh yeah. Right in the back. Apparently the other pilot doesn't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, that's true. There you go. Now, the bypass pin needs to be inserted into its slot on the strut of the front wheels. There you go. The purpose of this pin is to prevent the cockpit crew from having any steering control of this wheel, as it can pose a danger to the crew on the ground if moved accidentally. What's the tape attached to? It also cones. allows the ground crew yeah. to take control well, of the Well, not cones, pylons, I guess. By bypassing the aircraft's like the... pressurized hydraulic systems during a pushback procedure. They're like the long orange things. In another tutorial. Now, approach the front wheel and firmly insert the bypass pin in its slot indicated by the marker. Way ahead of you. Congratulations. You have just prepared and secured the aircraft for parking and further servicing. Now, we will present you with the same scenario, but in reverse. You will need to collect all the previously oh. placed safety articles efficiently and safely. At Vagar Airport, we have a unique situation where an aircraft can leave the stand and taxi without being pushed back onto the taxiway. This means the final step of this process will be taking the bypass pin out of the front gear strut and the aircraft can go on its way. The aircraft has already been serviced and is waiting for it to be released from the ground crew's hands. I want to fill this thing with peanuts. Each parking gate or parking stand is identified by a red or white perimeter outline. When the aircraft is in motion and its engines are running, no unnecessary objects, vehicles, or personnel should be inside this area. This is due to the risk of the aircraft colliding with a vehicle oh my God. or unwanted objects being sucked into the engine. Hey, Alex. How's it going? If such a situation occurs and the area is not hey, clear, Melissa, how are you? you'll be notified through your in-game tablet. Okay. <laughs> Collect the cones and wheel chocks and place them oh. in safe areas Outside the parking stand's perimeter. All right. Finally, head back over to the aircraft, remove the bypass pin, and leave the area. Yes, we must uh, secure the cones, and we must put them in a safe location. And apparently, the safe location is on this roadway, the service road. I'm pretty sure that's a service road. Uh, we'll just stick them right in the middle of the service road. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Sure. Of course. Yeah, that's safe. Why not? There you go. I want to see Cans do the luggage. I want to do the luggage. I want to see the baggage, baby. Show me the baggage. Show me what baggage you're rolling with. I want to see. Yeah. Just got to the hotel for my brother's wedding tomorrow. Oh, that's exciting. Wait, wait a sec. You just got to the hotel. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be like exploring that instead of dealing with this forehead? What are you doing? To be enjoying that hotel. How are you though? Hope you have a fun time. Oh my god. You have completed the training on securing an aircraft when parked at a gate. Now I'm high. <laughs> Alright, what what's next? Chocks and cones, GPU. What the frick? Is this power? Where does the how, how does the pressure cab or the cab or the pressure in the cabin? How does that all work? Does that have to be like how does the air work for that? Do they have to like refill the air every time they land or something? There used to be a thing like when COVID was going that they like now, marketed I'll like, oh, we refresh the air. A ground power unit, which is known as GPU in aviation jargon. You're probably wondering what exactly does the GPU do? Besides what its name gives away, let me explain that to you. I'm not showing you Automatic, my baggage. Oh, sad face. But, as you may have noticed, the aircraft shuts down its engines faster than we can connect and start the GPU. 
This is YouTube. We all have baggage. That's true. Which will generate electricity for the aircraft until we, the ground handling crew, connect the GPU to the aircraft, which will power the aircraft more efficiently and at a lower fuel price. Approach the tug, I see. You see this? Which is scheduled to depart soon. This will give us a chance to show you the complete process of connecting and disconnecting the GPU. This guy didn't need a marshal either. I'm telling you. Before you start, you need to connect the GPU to the tow hook of the tug so that you can transport it. Right. It's quite simple. You need to back up the tug so that the hook is close to coupling with the GPU. Then get out of the tug, approach the rear, and follow the action displayed on the screen to couple them together. What was that one uh, show? Theodore the tugboat? All right, here we go. Oh, I got to turn the engine on. Steffi! Steffi, thank you for the 12 months. I appreciate it. Hope you are well. Thank you for the almost one whole freaking year. That's not where you plug it in. Uh, one whole year almost. I appreciate you. I hope you are well. Thank you for the continued support as well. Very, very kind of you. Very kind indeed. Hello, Amanda. How are you? Hello. All right, here we go. Wait. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I think we have headphones on. So you can have your headphones on or off. That's pretty Great. cool. Just remember that you hook and unhook other trailers in the same way. Hop back in the tug and head over to the aircraft as indicated. You got your pumpkin spice latte on? Very good. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, how am I... Okay. Don't worry about this. I got this. Now, detach the GPU from the tug and go to the rear side of it, where you'll need to open the hatch revealing the control panel. Okay, disconnect. Okay. Open the flap on the back of the GPU. Now I'll show you the generator. Holy crap. Sequence. You'll operate it using the control oh. displayed on the screen as we go. Not all airplanes need a marshal. Some airport lanes has self-parking system that helps the pilot park. How come they don't have like cameras or stuff? They, shouldn't airplanes have cameras and stuff? Power. To hold down the engine start button for approximately three seconds until the engine starts. Wow, this is in depth. Three seconds, really? Okay. Now we have to wait 30 seconds until the engine heats up <laughs> and the oil temperature reaches 80 degrees Celsius. No freaking way. In the meantime, go to the nose of the aircraft and open the hatch where the connector is located. You have to wait for the freaking engine to roll up and oh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Great. Now on the side of the GPU, there's a slot containing a cable. You need to pick up the cable and plug it into the aircraft's power socket. That's pretty cool. To pick up the cable, follow the action displayed on screen. Connect the cable to the aircraft's power socket. There we are. Perfect. Now go back to the panel and switch the engine setting knob from idle to run. Oh, I see. Idle to run. Run it! Then press the DC output button to the on position. Uh, on. Now notify the cockpit crew through the communication panel that they can turn off the APU and switch to GPU power. Open this panel using the controls displayed on screen. Okay, how do we do that? Okay, one command. Navigate to the flight deck option. Flight deck. Then APU, and then turn off the APU. Great. Hey, turn it off. Now the aircraft is powered only by the GPU, and the rest of the ground crew and the aircraft crew can continue with their work. That's actually really cool. Now it's time to teach you I'm learning. how to disconnect an aircraft's ground power prior to departure. 
Obviously, we can't just unplug the cable and leave the crew without power. True. When you finish all your other tasks and it's time to disconnect the GPU, you'll need to inform the crew that they can start the APU. Okay. We'll teach you how to do that on this aircraft. Okay. Head over to the indicated area. Turn on the APU. The aircraft from the side where the GPU is parked. This is pretty cool. Your task now is to notify the cockpit crew that they may start the APU. To do this, open right, we were the told communication to. panel using the controls displayed on screen. Select flight deck, APU. We already and did that. We already did that. APU. Good. Go to the back of the aircraft, specifically under its tail, and oh. listen to the APU startup sequence. If you want to, remove your protective headphones using the display button. To check the startup progress, open the tablet and select the aircraft you're currently at. In the task table, you'll find information about the startup progress. The APU is now fully operational. Oh, this is actually really cool. Now, go to the panel and switch the DC output to off. Okay. I'm digging this. This is really cool. Then turn the engine switch from run to idle. Okay. Finally, I want to get to the baggage, baby. To the aircraft and place it back into the GPU. Take the cable back. And we reconnect, now right? Now you need to return the GPU to the designated location at the parking ramp to complete the tutorial. Here we go. All right. Oh, that's cool. Now imagine playing this with people, like other people, like friends and all that. That would be really fun to tag team a freaking plane. What do you think about that? Congratulations. You've just learned how to operate the GPU oh, yeah. after arrival hey. and before departure Nazasha. of the aircraft. How you doing? Thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was very kind. Thank you very much for becoming a member. That was really, really cool. Thank you. Thank you for the generosity. Have you ever considered a f or ever thought of playing Police Simulator? I have played Police Simulator on the channel. I had to stop it because, unfortunately, it was a bad... Uh, I enjoyed it, but people had to make it political, and I had to just stop it. But I enjoyed it. But I do technically have Police Simulator uh, streams on the on the channel. Passenger stairs. I feel like we we kind of uh, we kind of uh, you know learned about this, but I can do it again. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be in the tutorial for for at least I think maybe another 15, 30 minutes at least. Yeah. Thank you, Nazasha. I appreciate that. Yeah, the plane sizes are accurate too. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Stairs. This one should be fairly easy to do, right? You will now learn how to operate the passenger stairs. Oh. Generally, there are two common ways to disembark an aircraft. Oh, wait, there's those there stairs and these stairs? stairs? No. Is this stairs? There what is this? Be a passenger stairs vehicle nearby. No, that's like for food. That's stairs. That's food. There are several ways to access an aircraft. Today, we will show you how to operate I can go the stairs, stairs too. vehicle. As you can see, over here. it's equipped with a movable stairs platform that can move up and down to adjust to the different door heights of various aircraft types. This solution is used at airport parking stands where a jetway may not be present or at the rear of an aircraft where a jetway can't reach. Wait a the sec. Vehicle is located near the wait, 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 rewind. The rewind. Get into it. Wait, wait, wait. Did he say I can't do the back of the plane or I can do the back of the plane? Okay. An aircraft is waiting for you at one of the stands. Drive I've only... The when I've gone on the tarmac, I've only gone out the, the back of the plane. Opposite the door with the stairs facing it. Remember that the left side of the aircraft is always designated for passenger or crew service. Okay. So no matter left what side. type of aircraft it is, you will always approach the stairs from the left side. 
always on the left side. Got it. Now that you're in place, you need to slowly move closer to the aircraft door. To make it easier for you, switch the camera to the outside view using the button displayed oh, on the screen. I think I did it. Hey, Peter. Hey, Keisha. Did I say hello to Highlander? Hello, Highlander. I think I did it. Okay. Carefully close the distance to the aircraft. I'm inside of it. Okay, do they want us to be in the front or the back? Is it, oh, wait. This is the wrong aircraft? Sorry. Oh, no. We're in the wrong freaking thing here. Sorry. Slowly approach the lower edge of the door. To make things a little easier, on the dashboard of the vehicle's cab, you will see two illuminating oh. lights. Oh, wait, what? One red and one green. The red light indicates that you aren't correctly aligned with or near enough to the door. The green light blinks when you are at the ideal distance from the aircraft's door. There it is. There's the... the vehicle nice. Sorry, right, that's support, pretty cool. And to raise the stairs platform if necessary. When the light illuminates a solid green color, it means the vehicle is in place and secured. This indicates that you can continue up the stairs and safely open the door. I don't think that's... Remember not to slam the vehicle into the aircraft. <laughs> the lip of the stairs only needs to be barely touching the edge. I would like to slam it into the aircraft. Okay. Whoop. Now, you need to deploy the vehicle's standing supports. Use the button displayed on the screen to do so. Hey, standing supports. Why? Confirm the connection. Now you're safely secured in place. We've done it. Exit the vehicle and walk up the stairs. <laughs> Open the aircraft's door. Could you imagine sitting in... <laughs> sitting... <laughs> just sitting in the seat, waiting to get off the plane, and you just feel this... Boom! <laughs> What the heck was that? Sorry, it was the guy driving the stairs. He just slammed into the side of, side of the plane. Oh, God. <laughs> Once the door is open, I don't know why that's so funny. Left and right barriers into place to secure the safe passage of crew and passengers. Wow, look at that. The possibility of a grievous fall. Look how, look how detailed that is. Great work. Damn. Every Yeah, this is so unsafe. Mind to the gap. Connect the stairs from the aircraft. You need to perform all of these actions in reverse order. Can I go inside? You can give that a go on your own when the opportunity arises, right? See you in the next tutorial. Oh my god, that was so funny. That would be so funny. Yeah, don't worry about him. He's new. He's just that's cans. He's he's learning how to work the stairs. Sorry about that, folks. Uh we'll get off the plane here shortly. <laughs> Mash into the side of the plane with the stairs. Catering. All right. Food, baby. Give me the food. Let me learn about catering. <sighs> hey, Autumn. How are you? My son dressed up as a pilot when he was younger and was able to sit in the cockpit. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I love that. I had a friend that did that, too. Um, he was a little kid. And in they took his picture and they put him in the newspaper we'll for it too. To Pretty great. Snacks and refreshments in an aircraft galley using a catering truck. They don't serve peanuts the on planes anymore. It's like a mix. On the like a Chex Mex mix. Often airlines replenish their supplies based on a full return leg, so they don't need to get catering service again at the destination airport. On your tablet, you'll find information on which aircraft you need to service and where. Deliver now, meals to the plane at stand number nine. That we are going to serve. Okay. We see that the aircraft we'll be servicing is parked at gate nine. Nine. Now, enter the catering truck, drive to the position, and stop in front of the rear right doors of the aircraft. Oh, the barf bags. Oh, my God. That would be a terrible. Your task now is to connect the catering truck to the aircraft. It looks very similar to operating stairs, only instead of passengers, Whoop. we load food. Drive 
move under the right rear door and stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch out for the wing there, forehead. Holy hell. I almost took out the plane. My bad. Whoops, a daisy. Um, oh, wait. Did we do this? Okay, yeah, I know how to do this. Holy crap. I can't believe that. I almost smashed into the wing. <laughs> yeah. All right, you don't want me out here doing this. I promise you. You want me behind the desk. You go like this, yeah? Okay. Now, Supports. raise the platform using the displayed button. Is it Make necessary? Sure that it is at the same height as the silver plate under the doors. I think that's the same height? Uh, I, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I would say that is. I think that's good, yeah? What do you think? Uh oh. Hang on. I gotta reverse my order. Okay, let's go back down. Take the supports off. Back it up a bit. Okay, connect catering truck to the plane, which we shall. And just like okay. with the stairs, a flashing green light means you can confirm the connection to oh, the Oh, yeah. Aircraft. Let's see that real quick. And a steady green light means the connection has been made. To okay. confirm the connection, press the button displayed on screen. There we go. Okay. And then we go up. Oh, frick me. A new one. Okay. Hang on a sec. Support. We need support. Is support down or up? Okay, support was down. All right, I need support down. There we go. Connect. Enter. Great. Good job. Now Yes, we did it. On the tablet, you can check the progress of loading. <gasps> they actually move in there. Oh, that's really cool. During the overall catering process, you'll be able to perform other tasks around the aircraft. Oh, that's so cool. They actually have NPCs go in there. Wait for the catering to finish unloading at 33%. Okay, we'll wait for the catering to get done. How oh, cool. That's pretty cool. I, I think that's nice. I guess when it comes to like airport sims and like this kind of like uh like dealing with the crew and all that i don't think there's another game out there that really goes into depth into depth like this one does yeah i had a little kid puke on me before i felt i felt so bad for him and his mom it was a long flight after a scary day for them me and the crew made cookies for everyone i okay i flew from florida to california okay. with danielle but we were separated finished. And, uh, to disconnect the vehicle from the aircraft, press the I had a mom. Button. I was sitting next to a mom with her two kids. And she was the kind of mom where it was like, she thought it was okay for her kids to like lay on me and touch me. And I didn't know how to say stop. <laughs> Does that make any sense? I was so and uncomfortable for the whole freaking plane ride. Okay, there we go. Now retract There we go. Great. Hooray! You have just completed the process of replenishing food and supplies on an aircraft using a catering truck. Good job. See you later. See ya. Nice. Good job. All right. Um shuttle bus. Oh god. Yes, please. You could start to cough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some people take that as flirtatious where I'm from. They're like, oh, excuse me, Mile High Club? Hi. No, thank you. In this tutorial, you'll be responsible for transporting passengers to and from an aircraft <laughs> yeah. at an airport shuttle bus driver. I get the bus. You'll do this task using the bus. This is the most popular means of transport at airports in Europe. Oh, in okay. Europe? Enough talking. Let's get to work. That's interesting because, like, I've never seen any shuttle buses on a tarmac before. Oh, 
passenger stairs vehicle and connect them to oh. the plane at the location indicated on your tablet. Yeah, okay. Always on the left side. We got to remember, always on the left side. Here. Nice. All right, now we're making progress, baby. There we go. Ah, very good, very good, very good. Okay. Line it up. You know what? I'm going to use the green light this time. I'm going to try to go first person on this. Then we're going to go... Okay. Wait. Watch the light. Watch the light. Okay. We failed. That's all right. Okay. You know what? How bad am I failing? Not that bad. Okay. Good. Okay. The ports. Connect. Come back up. Rails. Safety barriers must be fully retracted. I'm sorry. Am I not all the way full fold in? Oh. Wait, oh, sorry. My bad. Has to be retracted. Huh? Open. And then we do the safety barriers. Perfect. Well, that's realistic. And then we go like this. And then we go like this. Great. There we go. Looks like you've got the hang of this. I do. Now we can take care of the disembarkation process. But if this is Europe, then why is the wheel on get the left side? The wheel of the bus and we'll get to work. I'm confused. Drive the bus to the aircraft where you just attach the stairs. But before you do that, we'll teach you how to read the information on your tablet that you need for this task. You'll find it in the operations tab under flight number X. Hey, load the passengers onto the bus. There's 50 of them. As you can see, you need to pick up passengers from the aircraft parked at stand 10 and take them to gate 1. Cautiously approach the aircraft and park the bus in the indicated area opposite the stairs. Ensure you park so that the right side of your bus is facing the stairs. Okay. Right side of the stairs. Okay. I think I understand. Okay. Now I just got to figure out. Oh, no. We're good. Continue. All right. So stop light. Follow me light. F light. No, 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 no. I don't have that light. I'm all the way around. Right. There we are. We'll make this in third person as well. There we are. Ow. Look at this bus. Okay. Looks like it's time to open the doors. Time to open the, the doors. To board the bus. To do this, you need to open the three doors on the right side of the vehicle by okay. pressing the button displayed on screen. Nice. Great. The passengers will be deplaning in just a moment. Nice. Oh, this is Wait cool. Oh, look at them. There, there, there they come. Boarded the bus and then close the doors using the button displayed on screen. Oh, how cool. I bet you there's no children on this plane. <laughs> and will lead you to the gate where the passengers will disembark. Nice. That's cool. I wonder why it takes so long to get out of an airplane. They have to do all this. Exactly. There's a lot to do just to get off the damn plane. And everybody's sitting there like, oh, I want to get off. I want to get off. I want to get off. <sighs> hey, Drowser. How's, you, how's it going? You're enjoying the King of Retail series. Very good. Yeah. King of Retails are good. Good series. Good series indeed. So, did we say why the, the steering wheel's on the left side and not the right side? Is there a reason to this or no? I don't know. No children on this plane, though. They drive on the right in Europe? Oh, don't even give me this nonsense. Are you kidding me? Wait a sec. Time out. Time out. Hey, subscriber. Thanks for subscribing, Andre. Time out. UK and Australia are the only ones that drive on the okay. left. Now, oh my God. Alright, everybody, hold on. Follow the path marked on the GPS. 
Because I'm in Remember, charge of you. You're driving a bus with standing people, so you need to be careful. I shall in not be. In scenario mode, you'll be assessed for passenger safety. Oh, that's pretty cool. As this is a tutorial, the passengers are specially trained to deal with novice bus drivers and to expect the unexpected. Avoid sharp turns at high speeds and sudden out. stops. So you get Ensure actually to the bus with the right side facing the terminal. Then open the doors to allow passengers to disembark. You get graded on your Remember driving. Only open the doors That's pretty cool. The gate side. Great. Since we're also picking up passengers for the next flight, don't close the doors to the bus. As soon as all the passengers have left the bus, the next ones will begin boarding. UK on the left, the rest of the Europe on right. When do the drivers switch sides? I think the UK, or not the UK in the US. Uh, I think Canada in the US might do that. No? Is Canada on the right side or left side? All you guys, all y'all saying, oh, you guys drive on the wrong side. You literally live next to countries that drive on the side that we drive on. You literally commute right next to countries that do the same thing we do and drive on the wrong side what is wrong with y'all come on canadians are on the right side too maybe back in the day they used to do left side did they switch over some canadian friend told me that they used to drive on the left side or something i don't know if he was telling the truth or not or if he was messing with me uh, there we go. Passengers, good. That was fun. I like that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, is there more passengers I'm waiting for? Oh, crap. Oh, wait. No, I'm loading passengers in to take them to the plane now. Okay, got it. <laughs> right, because it's a, it's a two-way thing. Yeah. Okay, I forgot. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm. We'll just wait. Don't mind us. We're just doing our thing. Oh, look at that guy's hair, dude. Look at him. Did you see him? Where did he go? Look at that guy. Nice hair, dude. Dude, he's got the hair and the beard working. Good for you. Your friend obviously, obviously knows what triggers you. All I know is, I mean, he, I would loosely friend. I don't even know if I would like call him a friend. It was more of an acquaintance that I knew mutual friend ish kind of thing. And it was like, he told me he lived in, he, well, he said he Everyone lived in Canada because he's Canadian. Shut the door, shut the door. The GPS route should already be displayed. And he said he like, Follow it. He lived in Toronto, and then he gave a penguin ecstasy. Back, so, like before, park next to the with the right I don't know how gullible face. you need to be, I guess, right? I don't know. All I know is he wasn't representing Canada that well. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. There we go. I know that that's what I'm saying. You believe what he's telling you? I'm just saying that's just that's just what came out of his mouth. I, you know, whether or not I believe it, I that's why I have chat. I, I believe chat more than him. You love racing games, T? I love racing games too. Like I haven't played the new Forza. I haven't played the new Forza yet. Because I think it's out already. I'm a big guy who used to play a lot of iRacing um, until that became very competitive and expensive, but I really like iRacing. Don't believe us either. <laughs> That's true. You believe chat because you are a very wise man. <laughs> oh no, I don't think so. 
Don't worry, we're only an hour and ten minutes into tutorial right now. Great. We'll get to a now scenario eventually, I think. Close the doors, remove the stairs, and park the bus back in the parking spot where we started. Okay. Is this where the bus goes? Oink. Congratulations. But I didn't remove the stairs. The tutorial on transporting passengers to and from an aircraft. See you again. I, I, but I didn't remove the, okay. <laughs> but baggage, jetway, son of a gun, and then baggage, jetway. Only really transportation, only really public transportation I've ever used at an airport is like monorails and stuff. In today's tutorial, you will learn how to operate a terminal passenger jetway. Jetway. Also known as a jet bridge or air bridge. A jetty. Jetways are mobile structures that are permanently attached to the terminal building on one side and connect to the aircraft on the other side to create a bridge for passengers to move from the terminal to the aircraft safely. This is the thing that Jim Carrey fell out of in the first like four minutes of Dumb and Dumber. At large and medium airports. Without further ado, climb the stairs to the jetway. Okay, jetway we go. Now let's Ooh. talk about the construction and how it moves. Okay. Let's talk about it. Are you gonna talk about it or are you just gonna pretend like you just didn't say that? Are we gonna talk about it, good man? There you go. are divided into three parts. The bridge connects the remaining part of the jetway to this the is terminal, the, um, which always ends in a support They always structure. call this the bridge of yin and yang because you either have very, very excited, happy people on these bridges or you have very, very, very pissed off, disgusted, beat up, people that are coming over the bridge you, you you get either or you got people that are on their way to their destination and they cannot wait to get there to see family friends spend a holiday and then you have other people that have just the biggest freaking hangover from cancun and they just spent four hours on the plane with a kid kicking the back of their seat this is the yin and yang bridge Right. Finally, the rotunda, which allows the rotunda. That's a fun word to say. The rotunda. Below is a mechanism that raises the entire bridge, and at ground level, there are wheels that move the rotunda and telescopic parts. I knew a girl who had a rotunda. Now let's discuss the controls. Okay. the relative rotation of the wheels in relation to the rotunda to the rotunda <laughs> you control the rotation and forward and backward movement of the wheels with the controls displayed on screen then to rotate the rotunda rotunda use the buttons displayed on the screen Is it a euphemism to i think so the height of the cabin use the buttons displayed on screen now you understand how to move the jetway. Why did we do this if we learned about the uh, the bus? I think it depends on the airport. You need to position the jetway so that the platform threshold is level with the metal plate under the aircraft door. The door next to you Some must airports be have jetties, some don't. Door. I say jetties, Remember but jetways. Careful around the aircraft to avoid damaging it. Not jetties like in a As ocean. Flashing, indicating that you can extend the canopy to the aircraft. People still can walk. Depends on how big the airport is, though. I agree. Long Beach Airport, you can walk. Uh, Long Beach Airport is small enough where you can get off at, on the tarmac and walk into the terminal. But sometimes the planes don't. Sometimes the planes are not like stationed at a terminal. You have to take. 
like for instance like i said like there's airports that i've gone to where you get off the plane and then you have to take a monorail to a specific terminal and things like that but let's see what this is all about shall we can i change my view <laughs> all right it's the rotunda i'm telling you it's the rotunda the rotunda got me going baby holy hell i don't even know how to work this rotunda <laughs> How do I go down? Show me. Okay, go down. Did I do it? Am I in it? Am I in the rotunda? Nope. I need to get in. Let me in. To connect to the aircraft, press the button to... Did I do it? <laughs> Am I in there? I think I'm in there. Oh, that's a huge step, dude. We need to go up. Great. Someone's gonna trip and fall. Now open the doors. Holy hell. Um, sorry, do what? The cabin crew will now open the doors. Passengers will soon be disembarking and boarding. For tutorial purposes, we'll skip this step and go straight to disconnecting from the aircraft. Okay. After all the passengers have boarded or disembarked, the crew will close the doors. Okay. Then to retract the cannon. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't... They were gonna fall, man. Now switch the camera using the button displayed on screen. Oh, V me? Holy After hell, that is a rotunda. The jetway must always return to its designated parking position which is highlighted for you now. Ah. Guide the jetway so that the wheels are in this area. <laughs> okay. Great. There we go. You have just learned how to operate a terminal passenger jetway. Hooray! Remember that it takes some time for all passengers to board. During this time, you can perform other tasks around the aircraft. See you later. Burbank too. Okay, Burbank, I've... Have I gotten on the tarmac on Burbank? I can't remember. I just flew to Burbank in May. And I can't remember if we were on the tarmac or not. Maybe we were. Possibility we were. I think it's baggage time now, baby. Luggage B737. Let's go. That would be a lawsuit ready to happen. That would be something Spirit Airlines would do. Yep, you have to In jump into tutorial, the airplane. You'll learn how to service the luggage holds on a 737 MAX 8 aircraft. Okay. To perform this task, you'll need a vehicle with a loading belt. Loading belt? A tug. Tug? And luggage cards attached and to the tug. A luggage attached to the tug. Got it. Firstly, prepare for luggage cards. By opening the right forward and rear cargo doors in advance. Okay. To do this, approach the cargo door and open it using the action displayed on the screen. You was a ramp agent for United Airlines? Oh, that's exciting. How was that? Was that <laughs> how was that experience? Was that something or or something? Was it hard? Because of like all the heavy like luggage? Here we are. Open that up. Oh, look at that. This is going to be now Toy Story 2. Open that up. Great. Next, you need to position the luggage loader at the rear cargo hold. This is where the animals go, start, right? Kind of sad. Always unload the aircraft starting from the rear of the plane. Why? The center of gravity of every aircraft is generally concentrated between the front and rear wheels as much as possible. To avoid a sudden weight imbalance, potentially causing the aircraft to tip back onto its tail, you must first unload the rear hold so that the front of the plane is more heavily loaded than the rear. This front? situation is also known as tail strike. Unload the rear first? Okay, that's something I've learned. Now get behind the wheel of the luggage loader and drive it to the rear cargo hold. Let's go. Okay, I didn't know that. 
So if you're wondering why are they unloading the rear end, what I feel like they unload both ends at the same time in real life, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I always felt bad because like the animals do go into the like the baggage uh hold, right? The only thing I would like, I mean, don't you have to tell the I think you have to tell the or somebody has to notify the pilots to put like um pressurized air into the baggage hold because if they usually they don't put pressurized air into the baggage hold right so if you are traveling with an animal the pilot needs to know to put pressurized air into the baggage hold right i, I think is how that works right. now your task is to adjust the height of the conveyor belt so that it is just below the door threshold oh shoot i gotta repark this, will this. Make it easier for you to enter the luggage hold do this using the buttons displayed on the screen here we go. Next, carefully drive up to the luggage hold. Don't hit the plane with oh. any force during this process. The lip of the conveyor belt only needs to be just near the lower edge of the hold door. Just near. I think I did it. Great. Thank now you. we need to drive the tug and carts behind the loader so we can start collecting luggage. Now attach the luggage cart to the tug. Okay. To do this, position the rear toe hitch of the tug. Ah, I'm sorry. Reminder. Great. Now we need to drive the tug and carts behind the loader so we can start collecting luggage. Okay. Now attach the luggage cart to the tug. Okay. To do this, position the rear toe hitch of the tug with the hook of the cart, then exit and follow the action prompt displayed on the screen to attach them. I think I know what you're talking about. Attach the luggage cart to the tug. Oh, sorry. Uh, we're done here. Yeah. Uh, we gotta go to the other thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Whoops. Gotcha. You could take a plane. Where would you fly to right now? If I could take a plane, where would I fly to right now? It depends. Domestic or non-domestic? <laughs> Go. Oh, 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 Can we connect? Perfect. Remember, you can attach several carts together. Oh, we can attach the several carts? Is whether the tug has enough power to tow them and whether you have enough skill to attach them together. Yeah, I don't think I have enough skill now, to attach these things the together. with the cart behind the loader that you set up earlier. Leave yourself enough space to handle the luggage safely. Okay. Then exit the tug. All right, I think we got it. I think we got it. Non-domestic. Ah, it's a tough one. That's a tough one. Enter the luggage hold and manually load the bags onto the conveyor belt and then on Probably the Japan. I know that's very cliche, hold, but I think I would want to go somewhere out of my comfort zone. I know Danielle wants to go to Japan. I think Japan. Okay, now do we remove the luggage from the cargo hold? Can we actually activate the belt though? Change direction? No, no, activate. Hang on. There we go. Look at it. It's moving now, baby. Okay. Now we get in. How the hell do we get in? Um on this side <laughs> wait remove the luggage from the cargo hold uh hang on a sec uh sir madam somebody uh oh there we go can i get in there am i just a little too high maybe i'm just a little too high there we go there we are there we go. Baggage me up, baby. Now, this would be fun playing multiplayer. And this game is absolutely multiplayer because somebody's stuff is about to get dropped on the actual ground. All right. Now oh! move to the front 
Got it. And retrieve the luggage from there. You already know what to do. Does it fall on the ground? It does. <laughs> oh, okay. We did it. Hooray. All right. Shut that up. Good. Move this out of the way. We got everything out of there. Thank you. Pull this around. All right. We're doing a good job, aren't we? Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Back it up. We, we, we've never, we didn't even like learn how to feel the plane. We haven't, we don't know how to feel the plane yet either. I'm assuming there's cargo in here too, right? Has to be. No. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, wait. I forgot. See, this typically you would have help in real life. <laughs> in real life, you would have help. Not be a one man job. Take the service road. I know only three bags. Incredible, isn't it? There's only six passengers on this plane. There we go. How are we doing? Noink. And I, you think I can like get it in to slide in there? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Whoops. In we go. Out goes the luggage. I got. Oh wait, the the. Oh damn it, the belt's not on. Sorry. Hang on. <laughs> so many steps. On. Engine, engine. On. There we go. Hooray! And we'll just slide that one right on in there. Perfect. There's gonna be 52 passengers, and they all have six pieces of luggage just know that all right perfect let's see if this actually falls now into place to transport all the collected luggage to the sorting area and transfer Ooh. them to the belt that will direct them to the terminal oh kind of worked in a way i have to take it to the sorting you know to be fair though in real life they do this pretty fast i like to think i've never really i've always been impressed on how fast you get your baggage back like logistically speaking like, logistically, I know that people are like, oh my god, I waited 15 minutes at the baggage claim to get my bag. But like, like from your bag to go from the plane into your hands, it's pretty impressive, I like to think. Okay, let me move this thing out of the way, because I don't think we need this there anymore. Can I just take this? Yeah, we'll take this. Turn that off, please. Place this back where it needs to go. We'll do that. They call ramp agents the athletes of the airport. I mean, let's be fair here. Like, like people, that's why I <laughs> wait. People will stuff the freaking bus with their luggage. They'll make sure that thing is jam packed. And then when you pick up a luggage, some luggages are light and then some are like just absolutely heavy. Just throw your back out. All right, now we will transport this to the sorter, I guess. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, look at that. Oh, baby. I don't know where exactly I'm going. Um, is this it inside? Oh, it is. Oh, how cool is that, dude? Oh, that is really cool. Very cool. Nice. Look at that. That's really neat. Oh, I dig this. Start the belt by pressing the button on the side. I gotta start everything. I gotta do everything on my own, don't I? On it to deliver them to the baggage claim. Oh, cool. Wait, where do I start it at? Is there a button? Yeah. I'm sorry, what? Start the belt and unload the luggage onto the belt. Oh, there's the belt button. There we go. All right, now it's Toy Story 2. Yeah, this is pretty cool. 
Here we are. Here we go. Look at that. How neat. Hey, Plop, how are you? Great. Nice. Now we will deal with loading luggage onto the aircraft. Luggage oh. is collected from the luggage sorting area through the appropriate slides where it is automatically sorted by the system to make our work easier. Oh, okay. Open the tablet and go to the operations list, then select Flight Mike Sierra 3214 in the departure section. Okay. Check the box number where you will collect incoming luggage. As you can see, the suitcases will be delivered to the box indicated on the tablet. Drive there and wait for the luggage. This is sick, dude. Again, imagine playing this. Like, I don't know what the okay. I don't know what the limit is on multiplayer. I don't know if it's like one to four players or one to eight players or something like that. That is the wrong direction. So let's go the right direction. Let's face the right way, shall we? Yeah. We'll, we'll follow. We'll follow direction. Yeah. Make sure we're facing the right way. This is neat, dude. Can we jump in the conveyor belt and chase Stinky Pete? Look at that. How neat. Your task will be to load the suitcases onto the luggage carts and deliver them to the front luggage compartment. There we go. Your task will be to load the suitcases onto the luggage carts and deliver them to the front luggage compartment. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Right. Load the luggage. Do we do it? And then we send it. All right. Let's go. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay. Load the collected luggage to the front cargo and the in the rear cargo. How many do we have? Do we have four? So we need to split it up, right? Evenly. So it's evenly distributed and weight. I think that's how that works. I feel terrible now putting the belt back. But yeah. Oh gosh. All right, so we will. This is bad. Get the ramp. Actually, I mean, yeah, you would use the ramp, but I wonder if we can like skip the ramp. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Okay. Now, just like when unloading luggage. Luggage loader to load the luggage. Place I doubt it, it under the front cargo doors and adjust the tape to the correct height. Remember to start the tape to move the suitcases up towards the aircraft. <laughs> you will have to enter and neatly arrange the suitcases inside the cargo hold. Oh, okay. You have to actually put them in a certain way. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I feel you. Oh no, don't hit the cone. Oh no. Oh no, don't hit the plane either. All right, we're putting this in like really ass backwards, but that's all right, I think. No, other way, other way. How do we switch it? How do we switch it? T, other way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Put me up there. Okay, load that. Oh wait, is there more luggage that we needed to get? There might have been more lu more luggage we needed to get. I think I need to put three in each again. Okay, that's done. I need to go get two more luggages. Okay, I don't technically need the belt, I don't think. So I think we're good. You can kind of just throw that in there then. Joink. Yeah, okay, so I gotta go get two more luggages that didn't come out all the way. Let's go get it. Underlay. <clears throat> Hello, Victoria. How are you? All right, two more luggages for the back, and we'll be good. Mm -hmm. This is fun. This is cool. Like I said, I guess like for people that don't know like the logistics of how or what happens like, um, like at the airport. 
I guess this is like a great way to like learn about it, right? Assuming I need more luggage though. We're missing two out of three on the back end of the cargo. There we go. It is pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I'm digging it. We have more cargo here. I poppy. I don't think we do. Doesn't look like we have more cargo. It does say close both cargo holds. So maybe I guess two people lost their car, their, their loads. We'll have to see. I'll go close the uh, cargo doors though. Just take luggage from luggage room though. Because there's two that needs to be taken. I don't know unless I passed it. Did I pass it back there? Should I go check again? Are there two sides? Let me see. Unless I'm passing it. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see. Okay. Oh, there, there, there they are. I see them. They were hidden. I see them. They were just hidden. Got it. Okay. These will go in the back. They were very hidden. I didn't see them. I think there's no other people at this airport that is literally and you got to think like in real life like like something like this like you're not the only one here like there's going to be probably like so many other cars and vehicles and luggage and things that are beer beer like going through going through going through right gotta have a system gotta be organized right system and organize system and organization mm-hmm -mm -mm. Here we go. And then I don't need the ramp. I'll just I'll just throw it in there with my hands. There we go. Here we go. And there we are. Perfect. And then we close this, yeah? Close. And a close. Put them back where they were. That's right, baby. Put that thing right back where it came from, or soul help me. Have a good one, Peter. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Do take care. All right. So baggage. That's fun. That's cool. I dig it. Now, if you were playing with a friend, what would, what, how would you guys divide the tasks? Would one be for baggage? One be for snacks? One be for fuel? One B for stairs, one for B for transportation. How would you split up the jobs, right? I think that would be really cool. This is the longest tutorial I've ever seen. True. <laughs> I'll be supervisor. Who wants to be the marshal? Who wants to do the follow me? Who wants to do the chocks and cones? Who wants to do the GPU? Right? Who wants to do the jet way? This is luggage for an A320, which is a different kind of plane. Push back and wall. Okay, we'll do, we'll, we'll stick with the B737. I'm assuming luggage would be very similar on a 320. Fueling might be different, but luggage would be maybe like similar. You want to be the marshal? You want to do the luggage? I want to be the one driving the follow me truck complaining. Oh my God. He said 250 meters when he actually meant 150. That's what I want to do. I want to be complaining the whole time. Give me the job with the most complaining. That's what I'll do. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Which one has the most complaining? Hello there. In this tutorial, now we got to fill up this bad boy. Oh, look at that son of a gun. Refueling an aircraft is one of the most dangerous 
get fuel. I'll fly. I'll take care of the food. This thing's pretty cool. Alright. Get into the tanker truck and drive it to the vicinity of the indicated aircraft. Remember, under no circumstances should you turn off the engine in the tanker when refueling. Okay. There is an important reason for this. Namely, in the event of a fire, you must quickly move the tanker away from the aircraft and the terminal to prevent a potential disaster. Right. I wonder if there's ever been like a big fire. There's probably been something in somewhere at some time. An accident or something. Jet fuel is no joke. Jet fuel is something you don't want to mess with. Jet fuel is expensive too. Jet fuel is like a bomb. We good? What the heck is this? Open the... Oh, wait. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Got a little ahead of myself. Holy crap. And the from by the grounding, cable. grounding? Really? Grab the grounding cable on the left side of the container. That's pretty cool. There's grounding? I didn't know there's grounding, the grounding cables. The Dang. The I didn't know that. I didn't know they grounded these for fueling. Then open the flap on the aircraft wing to prepare for connecting the fuel hose. Approach the tanker, grab the fuel hose, and pull it under the wing and connect it to the inlet. Put that bad boy in. There we go. That's really cool. Great. Now check the tablet for the amount of fuel you'll need. How much fuel? Go to the operations. Twenty six thousand pounds. Aircraft that you need to refuel. In the task table, Damn. you'll see the amount of fuel you need to refuel. Then go to the aircraft's refueling panel. Twenty six thousand pounds. Wait, really? Are you serious? Damn. Okay, enter the aircraft's refueling panel. Sorry. But I need to do that. There's a panel up there that I need to mess around with. Liquid is heavy. Oh my gosh. I guess oil is oil? Excuse me. Am I doing this wrong? My lord, 26,000 pounds. My feeling? My feeling now? Are you feeling it now? <laughs> oil is liquid? I thought oil was oil. I didn't know oil was liquid. Wait a sec, what am I doing wrong here? How do you put oil and water together? It separates, right? I know that's why the airline tickets are so expensive. Am I doing something wrong here? Oh, there we go. It's not pointing at the right indicator, I see. Alright. Uh, yes. There okay. we go. Now I'll explain how to operate the fuel panel. The what would panel oil be? I think oil? Airplane is and also a liquid. Is, as the name suggests, in the center of the aircraft between the wings. In the first row, you'll find bulbs that illuminate when the valves are open. Okay. In the second row, there are valve switches which can be set to open and closed. Liquid is a fluid. <laughs> the third row <laughs> contains the fuel quantity selector dial, the current fuel level indicator, and the target. 
target fuel level in kilograms. Wrong, it's in pounds. Since you already have the panel explained, we'll now focus on the refueling process itself. You must distribute the amount of fuel indicated on the tablet between the three fuel tanks. Because it divided by three, right? The fuel tanks in the aircraft are located inside the wings and in the central tank located between the wings. First, you refuel the wing tanks, and then you refuel the remaining amount of fuel to the central tank. Alcohol and oil don't mix? Isn't alcohol partially water each wing holds 3.9 tons of fuel and the central tank holds 13.1 tons wow to select the amount of fuel toggle the right side of the switch to stop toggle the left side of the switch okay um i'm gonna pretend like yeah so center tank okay center needs to have more right i don't know if we distributed this actually three ways fuel pump must be disabled hang on a sec can i push that back where it was here we go there we go <laughs> let's just push that back real quick okay add all fuel open close which is must be hang on must be in a closed state okay Interesting. Uh, this is only okay. Wait a sec. Hang on. I gotta see this. I gotta see this again. Why? Oh, so I don't select this through the tablet. No. 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 There's no freaking way. I can't get back into this. All fuel open close switches must be in closed state. And does that just kind of go? Yeah. Let's see. Select the correct fuel amount between tanks. Uh oh. I hope I didn't like bug it out. Or like I can't get back into this panel. Oh, there we go. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so how would one I see how would one maybe like this first center goes first oh I see I see like a turn left and a turn right okay maybe that that way I don't know. I don't know. Must be in closed state. Okay. Closed state. Okay. Everything's in a closed state, right? I don't know what select the correct fuel amount, though, means. Okay. We'll just leave it as that, yeah? No? Dude, dude, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I would just assume that you just start filling, but if these are closed, then that can't happen. If these are open, that can happen. But you can't open them unless these are like that. Yeah, and then open, and then open, right? I think that's how it works, right? And then you go, you crank it? Somebody turn something on? I have no idea. I don't know what the correct amount of fuel is, or what it means, I guess, when it says that. I'm not sure. First is wing mid. Mid right wing way. Try both wings first. Open them until they have. Okay. So close that maybe. How are you supposed to select the correct fuel? 
I'm not sure. Just randomly click buttons. That's all I'm about. <laughs> That's all I'm, all I'm really kind of going for here. Uh, can we get a reminder? The third row contains the fuel quantity selector dial, the current fuel level indicator, and the target fuel level in kilograms. What are you talking about? Since you already have the panel explained, we'll now focus on the refueling process itself. Okay, refueling. You must distribute the amount of fuel indicated on the tablet between the three fuel tanks of the aircraft. Right. The fuel tanks in the aircraft are located inside the wings and in the central tank located between the wings. Wait, 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 wait. First, you refuel the wing tanks. And okay. And then you refuel the remaining amount of fuel to the central tank. Okay. You'll need to calculate how to distribute the fuel between the tanks. Okay. Each wing holds 3.9 tons of fuel. And the central tank holds 13.1 tons. Okay. To select the amount of fuel, toggle the right side of the switch. To stop, toggle the left side of the switch. The right side of the switch, left side of the switch, toggle. Is that over here? They're numbers I see. It's air pressure, hydraulic pressure, pump pressure. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. I, <clears throat> interesting. <laughs> Levers are mini planes, I think. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I open the left wing, the right wing, which is tank one, tank two, close that, and then toggle between how much needs to go in, right? Is it up here? Yeah. No. I'm not sure. I might have to, uh, I might just, I don't want to skip it because it's very, very important to know how to fuel the freaking plane. You think it's very important. <laughs> Leave that one entered. Leave that one entered one in three towards. Go to the tank. One opened. Used to toggle fill. Open it. Used to toggle fill. They need to all be closed. They need to all be closed. Wait, so if they're all closed. Then what? It says select the correct amount of fuel. How do I select it? Oh, you just click on the right. Oh my God. That was ridiculous. I see. Oh Jesus. How the hell am I supposed to do this? Okay. Um, okay. I, I see now. It said how much 3.9 I think on the wings. I think that's a little too much to be honest i see could have just made that a little bit easier i see i thought it was clicking on that but maybe because you had to have everything closed first okay okay and then this was what 13 i think 13 13.1 so we'll do like 13 less than one because we went a little bit over so closed and open. I don't know what closed and open. I guess closed is not is is is, is to set it and then open then refuels it. Right. Now open the valves in the wing right. tanks. Holy hell. That was painful, wasn't it? Okay, so uh that's taken care of. We did that, and I think I opened the valves, right? Did I open the valves? <laughs> Pretty sure I did. I open, open, open. All right. And then we connect it. And we send it. <gasps> it's filling. Look at it. The number is going up. Hooray. We've done it. Oh, my God.
That was so funny. My gosh. Holy crap, dude. Well, that's how you uh, refill the plane if you did not know. Hey, Riley, how are you? Good to see ya. Hope you are well. Here's that. Pounds me. I guess I didn't know you'd take 26,000 pounds. Yeah, the passengers are like, who is like looking out the window? Who's this guy? He doesn't know what the hell he's doing with the hose. Somebody needs to put his hose away. Or don't look at my hose. I'm trying to refill. So the wings are filled. Now we just got to wait for the center to be filled. And I'm assuming after then you close it, right? And then you detach everything. So I think I can close that now. Close that now. There we go. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Somebody in there is like, eh, it can't be that hard to refill the... Well, good thing this guy doesn't work at a gas station. Good thing he doesn't pump gas for a living. Instead, he tries to pump planes for a living. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> You know, gas station attendants, I never know if it's, if you, do you tip gas station attendants? Is it, do you tip them? I never know if you tip them or not. You don't tip the gas station attendants? You don't have gas station attendants? Do you say, like, here's some money? Danielle went to a gas station, had a gas station attendant fill her car up, and then, like, he, like, have a nice day, ma'am. You know? You know? All right, let's close that, too. All right, very well. Um... That's done. Oh wait, open the wait, they want me to open the wings? To exit the panel view, press the button displayed on screen. Okay. Why did you want me to open the now wings? We only need to start the pump in the tanker by pulling the first lever from the left. Wait, what? You don't have to worry about overfilling as it has an automatic fuel flow blocking system that will stop when the selected value on the computer is reached. Wait, 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 wait. it's already reached. We don't need to do any more. We've 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 done it. We, we, what? Once the computer blocks the flow, you'll need to manually secure the valve by switching the switch to the closed hey. position. Jades, Hayes. Then Thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Big ups to you. When finished, do the same with the other tank. Hope you are well. Thank you for that. Thank you for the generosity as well. That was very kind of you. Yeah, in Oregon, it's the law to have... It's also a law to have gas station attendants. You are not allowed to pump your gas. And we live pretty close to Oregon. Which is why Danielle was... Not pumping her gas. <laughs> okay, wait until the fuel transfer reached the required amount. We've done that already, baby. We're done. We're, we're good. We're good. Open the center tank valve. Oh, okay. Add more fuel? All right. Very well. Let's do that. Add more fuel? Let's just fill it up, I guess, right? Close it. Add more. Until it gets to, I guess, 26k. That'd be 13.9. It's, oh, uh, uh, yep, that's the full. That's the fullest it gets, right? Oh, shite. Wait. Open. Close. Open. Fuel. Send it? That's something. It said don't worry about overfilling. <laughs> Just watched Murder on the Orient Express. You loved it? Oh, very good. So glad I finally caught a live stream. Oh, very awesome. Very awesome. 
I'm glad you liked it because that, that 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 was a really that's a really fun game, absolutely really fun game. Um, we're gonna have a lot of cool fun story games coming up next week too. Um, I have a brand new game coming out next week as well. It's actually gonna be a sequel of a story game that I've played in the past. Um, and it's actually storied around, uh, I believe, northern Quebec. Yeah, so that should be fun. Next week, we're going to do a lot of spooky streams, a lot of horror streams, spooky streams, story streams, and things like that. So, it should be fun. Yeah, I guess we just fill up the center even more, right? Um, 26k? Nope, not 26k yet. Close. There we go. Pretty sure 3.9 is what he said for the center, but I guess we'll just ignore that. Send me. Hey, Lissy, how are you? What's happening? Good to see you. I'm going to go just all centered and be like that. Don't pick <laughs> in multiplayer. Don't be the person that refills the plane because you'll be sitting here playing with numbers all day. <laughs> Will I be playing Spider-Man 2? No, no, I won't be playing Spider-Man 2. I'll leave that one up to the big boys. I'll leave that up to the big streamers. I see them playing. Uh, I see a lot of big streamers playing Spider-Man 2. I'll, I'll leave that to them. A little bit more. A little bit more. I'm a big boy now. You know, my mom told me that one day, but I didn't believe her. I didn't want to be a big boy yet. I wasn't ready. And then my wife said it, and I was like, well, I guess I have to now. I guess I don't have a choice. All right. There we go. Time to disconnect. That was an effing process if you've ever seen one. There we go. There we are. There we go. Is there any chance we could get a replay through of Little Lives? There's a good chance for that. I really like that game. I like that game, yeah. Uh, there's always a chance. Always, always, always a chance, baby. Uh... Oh, wait, they must be switched, right? Yep. Get me in there. Get me in there. Uh, closed. Now we should be able to close it. Perfect. Awesome. Hooray! Disconnect grounding and close all flaps, which we have done. To confirm there we are. that you have completed the task, use the communication panel. Open it by performing the action displayed nice. on screen. After hey, Jen and Juice. It, hey, Ninja. Select the flight crew tab then fuel and finally confirm refueling oh oh we can tell them flight deck fuel you are now good to go great now you can refuel a 737 max 8 aircraft they said god after that long you'll be able to do this task on your own during work <laughs> just remember to move the tanker to a safe location after refueling right until next time <laughs> until next time which I don't even know what would be the next time. Like the fueling, the pushback. We'll do the pushback real quick. See if this could be quickly done. But then I got to get ready for our next stream here. In today's tutorial, you'll learn about the pushback and walk around Look procedures. Look at The pushback procedure is one That's of the, the bundle that they're promoting. That's the bundle you can get. That game just when came out, I think, a few days ago back, too. You must be careful about your speed. The angle at which you're steering the aircraft and of course, everyone Look, there's Iceberg the Interactive. That's the publishers, you. too. The pushback procedure is typically performed with the help of a special vehicle and a tow bar. We will be operating such a vehicle specifically designed for this task. The Goldhofer Bison. These vehicles are characterized by high power and torque, which means that certain models can push even the heaviest of aircrafts with full loads. Let's get started. Your initial task is to attach the tow bar to the back of the bison. Before you do that, you need to prepare it for transport. Use the handle in the middle of the tow bar to lift the wheels and increase the clearance for transport. Wait, excuse me, what? 
Holy hell, way over there? Wait a sec. Handling the toe. Oh god, the tow bar. The tow bar. Do I have to actually pick this up or do I just actually go get it from the with the truck? No, I get it. Wait. Oh. Oh. Wait a sec. No, I I I I, I get it, right? Yeah. I get it with the truck, right? That's this is what you push back with, yeah? No? F? Right. Okay. The tow bar. What the hell is this? Loosen? What did I just do? Oh, do I have to pump it up or something? Pump, pump, pump it up. Oh, uh, I see. You actually have to pump this son of a gun up? Oh, I see. Right there, right? I think. No way. Let me take off my headphones. Now you're ready to attach the tow bar to the bison. Oh my god. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Wow. Realistic, isn't it? Lord have mercy. Super realistic. Vroom vroom. Wait, horn? This thing does not have a horn. I'm disappointed. I should have left my headphones in. I can't see anything back there. Going. Am I close enough? Nope. Am I close enough? Oh wait, am I doing this incorrect? Do I need to go on this end? Uh oh. Am I on the wrong end? I might be on the wrong end, dude. I am on the wrong end, ain't I? I think so. I am definitely on the wrong end. Try again. All I'm saying, don't put like... I am definitely on the wrong end. Back it up. That's what she said. Possibly on the wrong end. <laughs> okay. Hooray! Now you need to transport the vehicle with the tow bar into position in front of the aircraft we will be pushing. Wait, do I push it in reverse? How does this work? You must park in such a way that the tow bar is facing the aircraft's wheel. So you'll have to maneuver in reverse. Okay, I'm not good at reverse stuff. Changing the camera to an external view to make your work easier. Great. Now, go out and detach the tow bar from the back of the bison. Who wants to do this job? Now park you don't want to do refueling? It is behind the tow bar facing the front of the plane. Wait, what? You must park in such a way that the tow bar is facing the aircraft's wheel. So, you'll have to maneuver in reverse. I recommend changing the camera to an external view to make your work easier. Right. Okay, remove the cones and the cockles. I don't think they're called cockles. There we go. Is this Delta's training simulator? I think it is, yes. Absolutely. Hey, Serendipity, how are you? What's the next stream today? It's the members live stream. We're doing a members live stream at Jackbox 10. Yes. Stack the cones? Can you do that? Oh! <laughs> very good, very good, very good. All right, very good. Good shout. There we go. There we go. Hey, oh. All right. Yeah? Great. You did good. Okay. In a normal scenario, you'll Pockles have to and cones sound right to me. <laughs> of the APU startup, but you'll learn about this in the GPU tutorial. <laughs> Before departure, you must check if all the aircraft components have been secured and if there are any items have. on the plane. This process 
process is called the walk around. A walk around. Walk around the plane, checking its individual components and verifying that they've not been damaged. To do the verification, approach the highlighted area and hold down the button displayed until it is verified. Wow. If you believe all the elements have been checked thoroughly, open the communication panel, go to the flight deck tab, and then select walk around. Dang. So you have to also check the airplane? That is crazy, man. That's I wonder what happens if there's something wrong with the airplane then. You know? Hey, they go to all the next levels. They thought of it all. I'm impressed. Very much impressed. I think they did a decent job with this game. And to even have multiplayer is something to think about, you know? Like, not a lot of these simulators come out with multiplayer. Huh. I, I agree. U.S. Customs and Border Protection? Where the hell are we? Where are we? There we go. Here we are. I guess I should have reworded that. I said, uh, what would they do if there was something wrong with the plane? I meant, uh, in the game, what would they do if there was something wrong with the game? <laughs> like, how do you know? Like, how do you know if there's something wrong with the plane in the game, I should say? Uh, run it round. Flight deck. Uh, you are good on the walk around. We have confirmed. Now your Whoa. task is to attach the tow bar to the aircraft. To do this, approach it and grab it by the front handles by performing the displayed action. Then using the controls displayed, you can guide it with you. To turn the tow bar left or right, use the buttons displayed. To tilt the tow bar up or down, use the buttons displayed. I think I'm doing it right. Now that you know how to operate the tow bar, attach it to the indicated element on the aircraft's front wheel. I, I don't know if I'm doing it correct. I think I might be. I feel like I have the brakes on this thing. If there is, a, is any. Oh, I think that's what I was supposed to do. There we go. Attach the tow bar to the front hitch of the bison. Okay. Wow, this is a lot of work. A lot of work indeed. A lot of work to get a plane up and up and off the ground, isn't it? Nice. Before you begin pushback, you'll have to wait for a signal from the crew. You gotta wait for this crew. Start pushing the plane. Okay. You'll see this signal by the illumination of the position lights. These are red flashing lights located at the bottom and top of the aircraft. If they are on, it means you can go ahead and start pushing the plane. Okay, I don't know what I'm looking In for. Case, I ignored him. Okay. So you need to push it out to the left. Left. Remember to make smooth movements and break Does he need to be facing that way or the other way? As the crew is likely conducting a safety briefing for the passengers. Okay. During the pushback, you will have to notify the crew that they may start the engines. You will do this using the communication panel in the Wait. flight deck tab. Remember to inform the pilots to start the engines before moving the plane onto the taxiway okay to avoid prolonging the standing time how does there how does this work does taxiway where you'll have to place the plane so that it's do we control inside. the steering or do the pilots control the, the steering i guess us as parallel as right? possible to the taxiway lines once you have stopped the supervisor will detach the tow bar and bypass pin from the plane for you when the tow bar is detached from the plane and reconnected to the bison, you'll have to drive back to the stand from the taxiway. Okay. Wait for the... 
I don't know what I red light. Am I waiting for the red light? Is that the light I'm waiting for? Notify the crew to turn on the engines. That's right. Let's tell them. Flight deck. Uh engine. Oh, that's fuel. Engine on. You're good to go. Alright, engines are now on. Now we have to wait for the ground crew to d disconnect the tow bar from the aircraft. No, we shouldn't, right? Now we push them back, I think. Here we go. Okay, one engine is on. Oh my god. I'm actually moving the plane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Lanta. Now this is the part where they're like, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we will be... Uh, I am your captain speaking today. Uh, looks like we are uh, looking at partly cloudy skies and uh, 71 degrees. We'll be in the air in uh, about 12 minutes. Sit back and uh, look over. Watch your flight attendants go over the safety regulations and uh, we'll be uh, in Orange County in about 46 minutes. Uh, have a good flight. It's always the, they, that's, how, that's how they talk. They go, uh, uh, that's how the pilots talk, right? I hope I'm doing this right, dude. I hope I've done it decent, decent job here. I've done a decent job, no? Ish. I'm so right. Oh, I know, baby. I've been on too many planes. Are we good? Can we disconnect? I have this thing aimed cock eyed to the max. And I pull the freaking plane. Are you guys going to disconnect or what are we doing? What are we doing? Great. Now go back to the stand from which we put Disconnect me, sir. Thank you. Did, did, did you do it? Or do I need to get out and do it myself? Oh, you are on the other side. Right. Okay. This is awesome, dude. And uh, it is FDA or FAA prohibits smoking on the plane. It is a federal offense if you uh, decide to smoke on the plane. Please do not. We have smoke detectors in the cabin. There's no smoking and or vaping on the plane. Have a great flight! Whoa! Holy crap. I can't. Could you imagine seeing this out the freaking window? <laughs> Congratulations. You have just completed the tutorial on the pushback and walk around processes. Now you know how to perform these operations. Good luck. Hooray! We did it! Yay! We did all the good. Well, most of the tutorial. We know how to work up crew but with that being said ladies and gentlemen we're gonna stop it right here in airport sim if you would like to see more of airport sim and you want to see me actually do a full-on scenario and take on a scenario with actual like real life consequences i guess in this game let me know by hitting the like button commenting down below if you're watching this in the vod and i'll be gladly to bring this back to you in the future for sure if you are all interested in it this was kind of fun this has been a really learning a good learning experience about what it takes for a crew a ground crew to uh, take care of a plane when it lands and when it departs. Really like it. I think it's probably the most realistic one that we have out there to date um, as far as like these mechanics happening. And you can play it on, uh, with multiplayer and all that good stuff. You can also uh, pick up this game for on Steam. I do not know if it's on console or not. I do not know, but it is, I believe, $34.99. I can double check here. Uh, it is $34.99 USD. You can pick it up for 10% off right now for $31.49 USD for the first seven days of it being out. It did come out two, yesterday. Sorry, it came out yesterday. Shout out to the publisher for sending me a key so I could go ahead and showcase this game to some people that might be questionable on whether or not they wanted to be into the airport sim or get into the airport sim or not. 
um i guess this tells you or gives you that answer but yeah anyways it's been a pleasure for the members i will be going over to our members live stream and we will be doing a jackbox 10 so if you are a member stay tuned and i will see you all very soon uh with that being said tomorrow we have a brand new game i know right so many new games so many games coming out Tomorrow's stream should be very, very interesting because tomorrow, today, I had became part of or I've become part of a, a flight crew um, on the ground. Tomorrow, I will become a judge. And I will determine whether or not people are innocent or guilty. So stop by tomorrow's stream and we'll get our judge on. All right. Thank you all very much. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow or here soon. Do take care. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. All right. Very well. She said we better of his best friends. Who was the best friend? Can't let me know what I mean to be a best friend. Let me know the next man. Here we go better all one time for the best friends. Best friends, best friends, one time for the best. Best friends, best friends, be better off. She think we better off as besties. I can tell her it's a different when we text it.